Morning guys. I'm up here at Swansea on the central coast today uh, with my mate Gavin from Sydney Fly Riders. How are you going? Uh, we're up here for the, uh, the Swansea Salmon Classic, uh, which is being held by the Hunter Fly Fishing Club, um, Hunter Valley Fly Fishers. Uh, so it should be interesting. I've never fished here before. Um, we're going to go out and have a look around the Swansea Channel and see if we can find some uh, schools of salmon. Um, there have been some reports of fish around. Uh, and apparently they haven't been cooperating, <laughs> so we'll see how we go. Yes. Well, when we headed out on the Saturday morning, the fish certainly weren't cooperating. Gavin and I had a pretty tough day out on the water and ended up with the dreaded donut. But on Sunday, we headed out to the headland at the entrance of Swansea Channel and found some fish working out around the surf zone. They're out there. Wow. All the birds are out there, see? Yeah. Hey? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there they are. They're in there in the wash too. Yeah, you see them foaming out there? In the wash? Straight ahead of the boat. Do you see them? Alright. Go for it, mate. When salmon are schooling up on bait, they're not always terribly obvious. You don't always see them breaking the surface or jumping. Sometimes they'll just appear more like a subtle ripple on the surface of the water. And sometimes it's easier to actually spot the darker section of water. It can appear like a dark smudge or sometimes even a brown smudge under the surface of the water. Yeah, I'm on. down to the backing. Alright, I'll play this guy out this side now. I'm only on eight pounds, so I don't want to go too hard on him. Down the back, Gav. Need your weight down the back, mate. Hey? Come on, yeah, just reverse this back out of that area. <laughs> nice parking, mate. I'm into the backing again. We're right now. We need to get away from that yep. bit of um, swell there. 
I don't know what happened. powerful fish. I don't know what happened to my one. Maybe I didn't send it properly. Now I've cut down the length of the battle quite considerably here in the edit suite but uh, this fish had me into the backing four times and uh, I fought him for ten minutes and he was still by no means beaten at the end of that. They sure are an impressive sport fish, the good old Aussie salmon, especially once they get up into these bigger sizes. Then finally, after this epic battle, and with no apparent explanation, suddenly the hooks pulled and it was all over. <laughs> Out of the point break there. Maybe I'll, I'll drive and try and get you into position. It's a little bit nose heavy with you up the front and um, don't worry about moving the bow of the boat into a wave out here. Unfortunately the wind is blowing the wrong direction but there's the school out there, I can see him. Big dark patch on the water out there. And you might have to cast into the wind mate. I'll try and I'll I'll take us in and then I'll turn us that way and you can cast out the back of the boat. Okay? I'll even see if I can get us maybe out this side of them. Yeah. I'll tell you when to cast, okay? You see him? You see him? Out here. All right, mate. Ready, steady. Hang on one sec. Yeah. Sorry, you're right. I needed to get over this wave. You okay? Ooh. Yeah, a bit of swell. Bit of a dodgy spot. Yeah, yeah, we'll go out wide around the point. We're just going to have to wait for the school to come back inside the point, I think. Alright, get ready to cast, Gav. I think we should, yeah, are you ready? Go, cast. Cast. They're coming towards us, so just cast as far as you can. And then a long, slow draw, slow, straight, steady draw. All right, if we need to get out of here quickly, I'm going to tell you, and I'll, and I'll tell you to sit down and grab hold, okay? Currents pushing us out off the point. Go. Go again. Pull in real quick and go again. Just there, still there, still there. The fish were hanging right in the danger zone, right on the edge of where the swell was breaking over the reef. And we had to really keep our eyes open and watch for any big set of waves coming through that might break a little bit further out. The wind was also pushing us out away from the school and Gav was having to cast into the wind. It was a pretty tricky fishing situation actually. The wind and the current keep pushing us out. Okay, they're right here, they're right here. Whoa. You right. Um, steady strips as well. Once you get it in there, long, slow draw. 
that's it. Okay, just at the front of the boat here, I'm turning around. See if you can get a cast into there. Nice. Long, slow draws. Draw and then pull the rod in. Not too fast. Hard with the conditions, isn't it? So, just to, they do, they move, and just trying to hold the boat in the right spot and and stay safe is is tricky. They're all in there. They're all there. You can see the dark patch. That's it. Now, long, slow draw. Yes! Good one, mate. All right, I'm going to take us out, okay? Yep. So if the fish wants to run, let him go. Yeah, nice. Nice fish, mate. What pound leader are you on? 20 pound. Are oh, you on 20 pound leader? Oh, right. <laughs> I'm 20 pound tipping. Right, yeah. I'm fishing eight. You're gonna jump. There he is. Having a great time, yeah. Good salmon on there. <laughs> We've been to the backing and now we've got the final one back on, but he wants to take more off, so he's not done yet. So. <laughs> but I really fight hard and on my eight weight. Oops, you got a bit of yeah, there's such a, the fly line, but such a powerful fish. Very powerful, isn't it? He's not done by a long way. No. Yeah. A bit of hard work here, but it's good fun, so... <laughs> oh, you're just about up to the tip now. I can see him. Coming up. We've got colour. Although he's still... Oh, uh, we had colour. <laughs> <laughs> we might have seen that. Yeah. Very... It's like a waiting game. He might be coming up, hopefully. Oh, yeah, he's a nice fish, Gav. Not quite ready. Okay. See what we can do. All right, keep his head, get his head up. Oh shit! Oh no! All right, get his head up, mate. Ah, oh, we got him. And we're down a rod. Oh. <laughs> Sure. That's a good fish. Oh dear. What a battle. Oh. That's a chunky. Nice chunky Australian chunky salmon. Chunky Sambo, mate. Beautiful. He, he won in the end, but he's going to go back and he broke my rod, so. <laughs> yeah. But I think it was still worth catching it. That's what we have warranties for. A bit of, a bit of excitement out here. <laughs> Yeah. Two big waves and he likes a little candy in my little mouth. surf candy that I tied myself. So. Beautiful. Gonna pull the fly out? Yeah, I'll pull the fly out. There we go. Yeah. A release. Yeah, we'll give him a release. We'll have a look at one last little look there. Oh, go. off he goes. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Thanks very much, that was good. There's the candy. Off the broken rod. But... <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Well, candy with gray, gray over white that I, I started myself. So. Nice. Well, we got there, mate. We had had a bit of a battle to, uh, to get the salmon this trip. Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of mayhem. <laughs> But yeah. it was exciting, that's why we did it. So. Yeah, not the easiest of, uh, of conditions. And here's, here's my, my new rod. <laughs> oh dear. Well, uh, it might be fixed for the minute. Yeah. But having said that, yeah, I've got another eight weights. <laughs> brand new one. <laughs> that's fortunate. Good timing. <laughs> well done, mate. Thank you. Thanks, well, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I told you to get his head up and probably, no, no, um, Probably got you to push it just that little bit too hard. Just one onto a fish. There he is, Mr. Juan Del Carmen. He's onto a nice salmon by the look of it. And he's in the nets. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> nice fish, Juan. Beautiful, mate. Well done. Thank you. I had a really big fish on before and uh, I dropped him right at the end. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was a, he was a big fish. He was really giving me some curry. Thank you, mate. Do you mind getting the line, getting the fly off? Just running a little bit of line out the back of the boat so it's ready to go. Just got it gently in gear for taking the fish. It was my turn now, and the fish was still hanging in that washing machine zone where the surf was breaking over the reef. Okay, just put it in neutral. It's not a place you want to spend a lot of time. Watch the sea. Yeah, watch the sea. Basically, the big one comes, I'll head into it. Right, yeah. Alright, turn left, turn into it. Right, yeah. Sometimes the pressure of the moment can make you retrieve and do everything a little bit too quickly. And what I realised looking back at this, is as soon as I slowed it down, that was when I drew the strike. Yeah, I'm on. Okay, turn left, take us out now. Turn left. Just slowly, 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 take yep. us out to sea. That's it, head straight out. Press the red button on top and point it. That's pointing at you. <laughs> <laughs> right, Steve's on. He's got another another good one here. But salmon everywhere, but yeah. now he's got a good point on his hands, yeah. The challenge is just getting the boat safely into position to get a shot at them because of no, exactly. they're right in around the swell. And uh, it's yeah, you gotta be you gotta be very careful. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit not, not quite nerve-wracking, but it's, it has its moments. Yep. You're watch, watching the sea with a big big swell coming up, and you get to get to the salmon. So it's a bit of a what a decision you've got to make. There's a last little bend in the rod there. There's the headlands down there. Other boats around. He's, uh, I don't think he's as big as the one I had on before, this guy. More of a normal size. <laughs> I'll, I'll, just, I'll move to the back here. I'll be on the nose for a little while. Well, it's not best I stay here. Giving, giving a, a good account of himself. They got always a, do. Got a nice spin in the, the seven weights. But he's at least 
the smile on back on. Oh, oh no. come on! Pull the hook again! That's, that's crazy. No. I'm only on eight pounds, so. Yeah, not, not too much pressure. It looked like I was horsing him or anything. No, no, you weren't. You weren't but... Ah, well. Ah, well. <laughs> That's the way it goes. Have, All right, mate. Well, going to have a crack? No, nah, I don't know about you, but I reckon uh, I've had enough. We'll probably go in and maybe chase some brim or something, eh? Yeah, yeah. If yeah. You have, I'm happy, so. Yeah, good. All right. But that's all right. I had the good part. You know, hooking him and fighting him and all that. So, exactly, you know, I'm happy with that. All right, well, we might, we might go in and chase the brim or something else for a while. Back at the ramp, and with the benefit of my reading glasses, I discovered the source of my lost fish. Anyway, that'll teach me to check my hooks properly next time. Thanks very much to the Hunter Valley Fly Fishing Club for the weekend. It was great. Uh, I highly recommend it and I hope to be back. Thanks for watching. See you next time.